bear wave? No? Well, let me tell you. Just enough to break the ice. <laughs> Hi, my name is Nitra. Well, now that I have your attention, welcome to Music from Mother Nature Night. We would like to thank as the Coast Salish people for inviting us here for it to share with you our amazing and inspiring one hour performance. Our artists include Karina Keeling, Emily Malloy, Holly Arnton, and Kevin. Right. But before that, we have a few speakers, one of whom may actually organize this event, Jay Peachy, followed by Kelly White, director of the Stories from the Salish Thieves. And last, but definitely not least, Martin Sparrow, a very talented carver, who is actually responsible for some of the carvings on the stage. Well, without further ado, we would like to present to you music from Mother Nature Night. Enjoy. Everyone has a gift of creativity and talent and um, an opportunity and privilege. And so, um, yeah, I'm blessed to actually be here on the mic to be able to speak for all the creative people that are contributing to the show. So um, I'm like a custodian of the digital talking stick. So we're gonna do a play a quick video um, and then uh, we'll have a um, indigenous opening with uh, Kelly White here who uh, she's like auntie, grandma, sister, um, playmate, creative fun hostess and producer, and so she's gonna say some words from the heart about uh, indigenous people. And, um, and then we'll have uh, our musicians. We have a great talent, uh, a pool of talent, of creative healers. These are really compassionate people. Uh, I know them as uh, activists on the front lines of uh, environmental movements. So we'll uh, get the video started, which is a compilation of a number of programs that we produce um, we produce various programming that's creative, um, but has a, an educational, very progressive narrative to it. And uh, we have eight time slots on Shaw TV at Channel 4, and also we'll be broadcasting on Novus, which is another community channel. And <clears throat> that gives us the opportunity to express a message kind of free of corporate influence. And, but we're, we're artists, we like to be free and have our voice, and uh, that comes with its own risks. and. People n not necessarily understand it, but we, uh, we stand and defend it as our own truth. And uh, we're not trying to bully anybody into an ideology, but just, you know, show our way. So uh, Gregor Jan, who's uh, up in the booth there, uh, put this together. So uh, give it up for Gregor and the video crew who've put a number of these projects together, and then we'll give it to Kelly. out to the community to see who would be interested in giving back, and it was unanimous. Azimuth on Sound Therapy Radio.
the stories from Salish Seas, where we will bring you on a journey, West Coast Indigenous perspective. We will explore arts, culture, and politics from grassroots as well as community perspectives. We've been here for thousands of years, and I know a lot of people come from Europe and, and other countries, and they say, oh, the history there is so rich. Well, they're not celebrating our history. They're bringing a little bit of European history over here and celebrating colonial holidays. The stories from Salish Seas, where we will bring you West Coast Indigenous perspective. With the crime rate on a steady decline, Canada could be seen as a very safe place. A policy enforcement officer, that's what uh, the police are, the RCMP, uh, they're actually policy enforcement officers. You know, the peace officer, policy officer thing, I, I think a lot of people might find that confusing. You felt like maybe uh, your taxes were not being utilized properly? Yeah, like okay. it's not really contributing to society. Officer is, if they swear a note, to, to serve and protect, and that's not what they seem to be doing, and that's, that's why we want to make a change. I'll tell you a story of how I, Eagle, became <clears throat> bald. Uh, what was that? I said bald. Now this should be good. I see tons of jellyfish and all of them buried. Uh, Sardines are running uh, underwater. It's, it's almost like paddling over a river of silver. Like, you know, we've had all different types of uh, footage. There's nature scenery, there's the inner personality, the technical repair, engineering. You know, to say it's just a paddle trip is uh, kind of underselling it. Yeah. I totally enjoyed myself. Yeah. Wonderful people, beautiful, beautiful place, very special. And I learned how to kayak. Hi, my name is Wildy Salmon. I'm a lost fish. As part of my natural journey, I return to my place of birth, known as my watershed. In my latest journey back to what I thought was my spawning ground, I come across this big city with tall buildings, roads, and cars populated by creatures that they call humans. It's all kind of foreign to me. On my journey home, I get to know these humans and what they're all about. So perhaps they can even help me find my home watershed. My suggestion, first and foremost, is to never give up hope. The fish have lessons to teach us. And just because human beings are constantly trying to one-up the fish with our egos yep. and think that we are somehow better than the rest of the species, to continue representing the magic and the strength that fish have. Because after all, we know that fish, year after year, regardless of what people throw at them and the kinds of things that we do through our habitat, are very capable to continue on with their species, overcome large obstacles and barriers, and as a result, are a huge metaphor for what sh people should should also be doing for the environment and that's overcoming obstacles and barriers. Being that I'm almost human, my head got so big with all those platitudes, thank you. No worries, yes, thank you. GMO salmon eggs are raised in PEI, they're sent down to Central America where they're growing and then they're selling the fish. Bad deal. Uh, uh, another very important Actually, I think it's virtual sand dollars. With, uh, you know, they get to buy a, you know, 20 foot by 10 foot condo downtown somewhere where the air sucks and spend the rest of their life paying off a mortgage to a bank. That's like closed containment. <laughs> there is a similarity there. Geez, would that be 
would that be good or bad for me as a human? Well, I think they're getting the same feed as the fish farms. It's just in a different form and nicer packaging with good marketing and promotion by centralized mass market media authorities. He's a very busy fish type man and he's got a lot of good things that he's campaigning for, but he needs the public opinion on his side. So vote for Will. Vote for legislate that bill I gotta find my watershed that's the story I'm lost Wildy Salmon we're, we got the Wildy Salmon uh, community TV show so uh, how did it go in there it went really well we had a standing room only crowd lots of great questions it was great we got lots to follow up on I have a question there's a rumor that the mayor has been smoking salmon <laughs> Can you? Uh, he, he did confess to that. He it's did. Terrible. Oh, he did. okay. So, so uh, can you? Uh, do, is there a video? Is there any details you can? Uh, I don't have anything other than the fact that he has confessed to smoking salmon. Uh, as so, did he have a permit or like what? what uh, was it cold smoked or dried wind? Do you have it? You know, I don't know that we've done that follow up work yet. You know, we'll be tracking him down, I'm right? I'm sure you we, will. We did. We did a request and uh, we didn't get any response. Okay. Well. I'll let him know that you've, uh, you're following up. Yeah, yeah. It, okay. uh, let him know it's a fish-like character. Will, Will D. Salmon. Will D. Salmon. Yeah. All Shaw right. on 1 a.m. So if he's up that late uh, reading uh, Council Minutes, Channel 4. <laughs> All right, I'll let him know. All right, thanks. Up. Yeah, fish, uh, there's a salmon arm. Salmon arm, salmon arm, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Heather. Zing! Join us on Sunday at 1 a.m. where you can find another episode of The Will D. Salmon Show. And weekdays for Sound Therapy Arts TV with Rika Jasper. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for joining us. All right, we have uh, our host from Musqueam and also uh, Kelly White, maybe you want to join us up on stage here. Uh, Martin Sparrow is uh, Musqueam uh, creative chief, I'd say. He's, uh, he's uh, carved this beautiful Chinook, so, uh, and um, he has many words of wisdom, so uh, yeah. Hi, I'm Martin Sparrow, I'm from Musqueam. I kind of feel for what um, Jay's been doing, you know, because we lost so much of ourself. We're not real anymore, you know. Our, our people, it's all about, you know, I don't believe in chief and councils, of, you know, and I said that to that little Sean guy. We lost so much about, you know, who we are, you know, and uh, my brothers and sisters are going to church right now, and I, they brought me there. You know, and I'm singing gospel songs too. I didn't think I would be doing, but it took me a long time to be proud of who I was. And now I have to work on my children to be proud of who they are, and my grandchildren to be proud of who they are, because they're going to see their grandfather all over the place doing these political things. But I always pray about what I'm doing, and you know, when Jay asked me to come here, and you know, he told me he was bringing my carvings, you know, and. Uh, you know, because it took me a long time to be proud of what I was doing, and, and I never even thought I was good, even when I did that. You know, and I'm sitting there, hey, how come you never think that you're, you're worthy? You know, when I did that. You know, and I'm sitting there, yeah, I am a good person, you know. Because, <laughs> uh, but uh, we have true people down there right now, and the ones who are at those burial sites, we have to get rid of the ones that are in there now. They're, they're not very, I've been straight, you know, for 29 years and I, I, I don't see that in my own community. You know, when I, when I want to be proud of, I am proud of what I'm doing. I just got to keep on passing it down to the next generations. If we're going to be putting the carving shed up. We're going to be building traveling canoes. We're going to tell them how to be, you know, how to be native to be proud to be on that boat, to be proud to have a drum, 
you know, because uh, this guy, his name is Eli, made these drums. These ones are made of a goat. And he had some of my carving, you know, Eli's carving tools that he made. And so I think we just got to keep on supporting the good works that are happening out in the cities with all these grassroots people. It's not going to happen with our own chief and councils around Canada. It's not going to happen that way. We have to get back to being who we are. And that takes a lot of work to understand who you are. It takes a lot of work. And I'm not finished, and I still got a lot of work to do on myself. So when I sing a song, you know, and I was, I think I was at that Hobie, and they call it Hobie, and I'm sitting there, oh, I gotta watch the songs that I sing. I said, they're getting mad at me at home. <laughs> so I'll sing this song, and um, like my grandfather and my father, my father wasn't happy, you know, with what was going on in our community with Chief and Council. He's gone now. So the rest of the family has to carry it out and start being proud of being Musgrim. The ones that are running our communities are right now, they're not, they're not strong Musgrim. You know, even though that she's from Musgrim, you know, we have to first keep on bringing in the strong people because they don't live in our reserve. They're all, they're all living out there, the ones with education. And so I'll let, it, let you. Sing a song. <laughs> welcome, welcome. seen it in me as a child that I was a leader so that's why I'm here and um, I think it times up and thank you for having me here and so all my relations amen in the highest of the honor we thank you for the privilege of sharing Mother Earth celebration with you all and ladies and gentlemen, and we thank Jay Peachy and the crew for putting the show together tonight. And the mostly, we thank you for the honor of your time sharing with us this evening. You won't be the same.
All right, thank you, uh, Martin and Kelly. Uh, Martin and Kelly are very strong spirits, and I, I take a lot of education from them. And, and I'd like to also now introduce uh, Karina Keeling and Emily Malloy. Very beautiful spirits in many uh, aspects and share their wisdom and music. And uh, as they're getting set up here, um, yeah, I'd just like to thank them for, for coming and uh, always uh, sharing their gift. And uh, Karina just launched a new CD and it's gonna be outside, so <laughs> take it away, guys. Sure, thank you, Jay. Thanks, thank you, Jay. thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, my name, is, uh, my name is Karina Keeling. This is Emily Malloy. Um, we uh, are both singer-songwriters, and um, you know, I, I'm bringing some of my, my music, and Emily's bringing some of her music, but uh, we've, Emily's actually the first person that I met when I moved to Gozelish territory, and um, we've been playing music together for a long time, so we thought we'd take this opportunity to share the stage with each other. We're gonna be passing the instrument back and forth a little bit. Um, and so, of course, as always, um, really, really humbled and grateful to be here um, on Coast Salish territory. Thank you to the Slavotith, the Hamasquiam, and the Skolmish people for uh, allowing me to be here and do what I love to do more than anything else in the world in this, um, the, one of the most beautiful places I've ever been in the world. It's, it's, I'm constantly humbled. Um, this first song that I'm gonna sing, I usually sing it a little, a little um, further into the set um, so it feels um, uh, a little intimidating to speak about it so early when I've just met you all, hello. Um, but uh, this is a song that um, I wrote uh, just before I um, moved into one of the deepest, darkest times of my adult life. Um, and this is a, this experience that we're having here together uh, is about um, it's about Mother Nature, but it's also about mental health, and uh, I think they're deeply connected. Our relationship to those two are deeply connected. And I'm not going to tell you the whole story, but ultimately, um, this really, th this deep heartbreak that I experienced was when I started to understand and really feel in my body that this um, idea of oppression of the land and of Mother Earth, the systems and the structures that allow us to treat her the way that we have been treating her, um, are exactly the same and are mirrored in the way that we treat our women uh, and actually allowed that experience into, into my body for the first time and actually felt um, that, uh, that violence. And uh, this song came to me at 2.30 in the morning uh, in the middle of the night and woke me up out of my sleep and demanded to be written um, and then became very depressed shortly after that and this song really saved my life because my, uh, my roommates, my sister, would crawl into bed beside me and whisper the words of this song that I had written into my ear. And it was one of the things that kept me going uh, in that really dark time in my life. So um, this is a song called Dig Deep, and uh, I'm excited to share it with you. Your time. 
I'm, I'm good at a lot of things in this world, but promoting myself is not one of them. So I, I often, um, all, the all the shows that I've played so far since I released this album, I've forgotten to tell people about, <laughs> about it. Um, it's really awesome. <laughs> I have one, a copy actually in my purse. I carry it around me, with me all the time. It's been a long time coming. I've been writing music for about 10 years and saying that I've been gonna release an album uh, for about seven now, I guess. And um, I have a background in environmental justice and social justice, and there was always this idea that um, I wanted to release this album, I wanted to make this music, but there was just no time because there was, there was work to do. <laughs> and, uh, and I really, through the reflection of a lot of amazing people and uh, just a lot of uh, lessons and gifts in my life, um, I've come to understand that this is my work um, and the impact that I can make in the world uh, is so much stronger when I'm actually doing what I really love to do and I'm really lit up by doing. And I, I wish that for everyone in the world. <laughs> and uh, I used to feel like you know making music was this selfish thing to do. And I'm finally starting to understand that it's, it's selfish not to. So. Um, it is. That's for all of your <laughs> gifts. <laughs> yeah. Don't hide. So thank you for being here and bearing witness to something that lights me up and for hopefully enjoying it as well. Um, this is a song um, that's about letting go, uh, and it's called Hollow Wooden Box.
So, um, you told me to tell them about the album, and then I didn't. It's called... <laughs> It's called you told us about how you never tell us about the it's, album. <laughs> it's called Say Yes. Uh, it was released last week on the 11th of June. Um, and it's available in the lobby. It's also available on my website and uh, a bunch of other places. Um, so if you just look at my name um, on my website, it's karinakeeling.ca. And they're also available in, in the lobby. And everywhere that you can buy them, they're available on a sliding scale. Um, I really want my... I, I wrote this music so that it would be heard. Um, and uh, I want to share it with as many people as I can. So um, if anyone doesn't really feels really connected to the music and really called to the music um, and doesn't have the means um, to buy a CD, uh, send me an email or go on my website and send me a message there, and uh, I'll make sure that you get it. Hi, everybody. My name is Emily Malloy. When Karina and I first started um, singing songs together, we <laughs> came up with a ridiculous name for our band, <laughs> Which was just the two of us. Which was just the two of us. Um, and we both have songs. Hers is Hollow Wooden Box, and mine is called Thistle Box. So we decided to call... It was a set. In the set, within the set, it was two hollow wooden boxes. So we called ourselves Box Set for, a good, like, five years. <laughs> <laughs> we don't call ourselves that anymore, but I thought I would share that story. Because <laughs> I just realized that we're playing... Uh, we're playing the box set. The box set The today. box set set. There you go. <laughs> that just. Yeah. So this song is called um, This Old Box. Thank God for photographs of my cannot most many things. No, I don't look that old, but the rope makes you eyes beyond what wrinkles bring. Stick out your thumb a little further, kid, I don't think they can see it. You're yeah, gonna get there, you have to let them see that you believe it.
Thank you. Thank you, and love and gratitude for your time and energy. Thank you, JPG, for having us here. Thank you, everyone. Gotcha. Give it up for Karina and Emily. All right, we're going to do a quick break. Um, we've got Silent Auction, and we have Janice Jacinto, who's a, kind of like a creative sister of mine and uh, really has struggled with her own mental health and is very um, expressive about it. So feel free to have a conversation with her uh, now or after. But uh, come back, and then we have Holly and Kevin coming to perform. So stay tuned for that. Be right back, everybody. Oh, look, it's Will D. Salmon. Will D. Silver Salmon. Will! <laughs> what a profile. The best profile in the ocean. <laughs> so what's going on here? Uh, we're just hanging around waiting for the Looking water for levels to, so we can spawn. Yep, that's it. Just check, wait. check, check. Yeah. Well, Where's thanks everybody name? for coming. My name's Will. I can see you right here. I've been watching you guys eat my cousins for Years and years. Oh my gosh. Well, just for the halibut, I'm going to point to, to Martin's art. And also, Hope the Whale is here. Yeah, Hope the Whale. Thank you to Amy and Crew from Lead Now. And we have Holly and Kevin, everybody. Give it up. The stage Thank is yours. You. Thank you, Will. And to kick things off on a great note, here's a song about melting glaciers.
Thank you. Cheers. So that song is dedicated to doing as much research as possible to understand what happened and is there something we can be doing to bring our salmon back. And the thing we keep doing is writing songs and this next one was uh, co-written with Roy Henry Vickers, the wonderful artist. And it's called I.O. And I.O. is a word that you'll hear um, in coastal First Nations up and down the coast, is what Roy told us, from Haida Gwaii to the west coast to the southern Salish Sea here. And, it, and when, when people go out to the fishing grounds and they see a salmon leap, they call, I.O. I.O. And that would signify where the school was, and yeah. they would all the boats would head that direction. Well, Wildy, are you handy? Wildy. There he is. Wildy okay, so handy. people, we would like you to sing with us. It's an echo part, and every time we sing... Um, I.O. I.O. You sing I.O. and make the salmon leap with your hand, right? Go I.O. Yeah, like that. Okay. Exactly. And dance in the sun, I o, I o. Fishermen watch and holler as one, I o, I o. Thinking of days in summers gone by, I o, I o. Missing the return of many sockeye, I o, I o.
1900s, my family fished in Guayanas. I go into the beach in a rowboat and come to some little no-name creek, take off my shoes and walk in the water so I could feel those fish swimming between my legs, hitting my feet and slapping against my ankles. Out on the bay, the gill netters were drifting along with their nets on a set. Oh, those were the days. And now I'm the elder, thinking about the way it was. And I know there's a way we can bring those days back again. Thank you. Thank you. Well, okay, so we were thinking we'd, we'd like to do a song together with Karina and Emily. Can you welcome them back to the stage? Once again, thanks for having us, you guys, and mm -hmm. thank you all you wonderful people for coming out and putting butts in some seats and, and supporting a great, uh, a great cause. Music yeah. for Mother Nature. Music for Here Mother we Nature. Are. Okay. All aspects of Mother Nature. Especially the rain, the life-giving rain. Someone told me long ago There's a calm before the storm And I know It's been coming for some time When it's over, so they say It'll rain a sunny day And I know oh, Shining down like water, yeah
I'm Kevin Wright. Hi, I'm Emily Malloy. Yeah. Thanks for listening. Arena Keeling, thank you. And thank you all, Thanks, everyone. everyone. That has been the Music from Mother Nature Night, Part 1. We hope you enjoyed. Please stay tuned for Part 2. We would also like to inform you that on June 13, 2015, that there will be Music from Mother Nature Night. As well as, on September 25th to the 27th, there will be a Barard Inlet Fish Fest. We really hope you enjoyed. Bye.